I didn't go into SVT. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Even though I was disobedient. Thank you, Jesus, for blessing me in spite of my disobedience. on YouTube fam bam it's that sober travel nurse and I am back with another video y'all your girl is in the garage chilling out getting away from the hustle and bustle of the fam bam and I just want to give you guys an update on how fantastified I'm doing can't you tell all right all right so um first things first I have a cardiology appointment on um, the 17th, so I'm really excited, and um, I'm feeling really good about that, y'all. Um, and let me vent for a minute. So I'm sitting on my exercise bike, and I cannot work out, right? I'm not allowed to. And um, my doctor said, whatever you do, don't try to work out. Don't try to do anything strenuous right now. Just wait until the cardiologist sees you. And that same doctor, y'all, she would not give me any uh, anti-anxiety medicine. She wouldn't give me any pain medicine. Y'all... This doctor wouldn't give me any travel at all, y'all. She wouldn't give me nothing. And I just said, I said, you know what, Dr. So-and-so, this is a trip. And she said, Dad, you can do this. She said, you are a nurse, honey, and I'm not going to crutch you. You're 43 years old, which is still young, and you can make these changes yourself. This woman... Um, she did praise me for my cholesterol being much lower than it was my last visit with her, but she was still holding me accountable, y'all. My doctor is a mess, honey. She believes in holding her patients accountable. So I was pissed, y'all. <laughs> I was so mad at her. I was so mad. And um, wasn't nothing I could do. Um, I said, okay, well, I'm going to try to lose the weight. I'm going to do what I need to do. She said, well, uh, you either lose the weight and uh, be adherent to your cardiac diet and do what you know, Miss Cardiac Nurse, do what you know is right for the betterment of your health, or you continue to fight your body, ignore your body, and you end up not seeing your kids become grown men and not meeting your grandkids. And I was like, and I, you know, y'all, I was this close. But you know, I remained uh, in the favor of God and continued to keep Jesus close and say things that Jesus would say, okay? And which was, I understand. I will, I will do my very best, I will. And she said, and I know you can do it. You can do it. And I was just like, I was so mad, y'all. I was so mad. And so I have my appointment with the cardiologist on the 17th. And um, I'm sure she's going to do a full workup. I may have to wear a halter monitor, but I will definitely keep you guys posted on that. Now, um, as far as my diet, a lot of you guys were asking about what I'm doing for my diet. Um, I initially lost nine pounds and then I gained two of those nine pounds back and now I'm back at the nine pound. So now it's been one week and one day since I was first taken to the hospital and, um, or has it, I don't know. No, it's been exactly seven days because today is May 10th. So it's been exactly seven days since I was admitted into the hospital on May 3rd and I'm back to the nine pound loss. So um, what I have decided to do is I'm going to eat one meal a day and that meal is gonna be completely pure. 
no sodium. I'm not going to put no salt in there, no Mrs. Dash. I'm not adding nothing, y'all. And I'm going to tell you why. Um, because I've noticed my heart is still too weak. Y'all, I tried to eat one piece of fried chicken. And that was yesterday. Because my mom brings all the bad food in the house. She doesn't care. She brings the bad food in all the time. I'll tell her, Mom, you know I can't eat that. She be buying me uh, Chick-fil-A, This Is It, um, Popeye's Chicken, which is my favorite fried chicken, by the way. All this stuff she know I can't eat, right? She still bring it in and be like, baby, that's your plate. And I can't eat it. So I tried to eat one chicken, fried chicken. And y'all know Popeye's got some good chicken, okay? I tried to eat one drumstick, and I ate it, and then I ate my cabbages and my corn that she brought from Golden Corral, and I could taste the salt, you know, and everything tasted so good, because, you know, I cook everything bland, y'all, because I'm scared to death, but I ate that. Y'all, how about, initially, it was cool. You know, the first hour, I was like, okay, I'm not feeling strange. I don't feel that fire. I don't feel the burn. Okay, y'all, why uh, three to four hours later, I was burning so bad. It felt like I had this, like, horrible fire in my chest, and it radiated all over my body. And I felt the tingling. I started sweating. Um, and I knew. And the thought popped in my head. And I think that was God telling me. Now you knew you weren't supposed to eat that. And you know. So y'all. I know I got to do it right. I got to get it together. Your girl got to follow the plan strictly right now. Or I'm going to be in pain. Or worst case scenario. I might even be in SVT. And then I woke up. And my heart rate, well, like around midnight, my heart rate surged again. And, you know, usually with the metoprolol, I only take 25 milligrams daily. And I take it in the morning when I first get up. And usually it'll hold me. And it held me throughout my hospital stay when they finally put me on the metoprolol. It held me all that day, right? So, um... But I notice when I don't eat the way I'm supposed to eat, the meds, they don't work as well. I didn't go into SVT. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Even though I was disobedient. Thank you, Jesus, for blessing me in spite of my disobedience. Yeah. Um, but um, he was merciful and kind and didn't let me go back in SVT. So now I know, y'all, I got to keep it real. I got to do it right, and I got to follow my diet strictly. And y'all, the day before yesterday, I tried to eat, um, I did eat uh, four banana flavored now and laters, and I carefully checked to make sure that wasn't a stimulant. But guess what? That surge of sugar made me feel bad. I felt bad. And I don't know if I'm eating it incoincidentally right before I'm about to feel bad. Even if I hadn't ate it, I was going to feel bad. But y'all, I can't take no, no chances. So, I said all that to say I am following. Um, I'm going to follow it strict now. So, I did my meal prep yesterday. Um, I got me some fish. And all I did was put lemon juice in it and freshly squeezed lemon juice in that. I have my broccoli, my spinach, and I'm going to be drinking the smoothies without dairy. Um, there's no milk at all in them. I'm going to be drinking these smoothies. And what I'm going to do with the smoothies is um, I have the frozen strawberries, frozen raspberry, frozen blueberries. I put um, half a cup of broccoli uh, in there and I also put a full cup of spinach, baby spinach in it and I blend it all up with ice and water 
and I drink that. And um, I do add a little bit of ginger too. I'll cut up some ginger and throw in in there as well. So that's what I've been doing. And I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do one meal a day. I'm gonna try to do one meal a day for 14 days and see how that works out. But um, my one meal a day is gonna start today May 10th, I like that nice round even number, the 10th. So, and by May 24th, I'm gonna come off of it and I'm gonna see how much weight I've lost. And um, y'all, like I can't use protein powder because I'm scared to death. It's gonna make me sick um, because of my SVT. So, um, but I'm feeling great. I have more energy, y'all. I'm feeling fantastified. Um, not 100%, but I will say I'm at a good 75% des right now. So please continue to pray for me, you guys. And um, yeah, I will definitely keep y'all posted. Uh, y'all, quiet on the set, please. Thank you you i'm shutting it down Thank now uh-huh <laughs> listen here now, look here i am look look at this y'all look at what my mama brought now on the outside it looks delicious and it is but um she knows look at her tw tapping her feet and acting like she's irritated are you irritated yes oh well let me get on out dude. Who you irritated yeah. with? Oh Lord. She has she has spoken, y'all. She has spoken. Let me head out the door and shut it real quick. Because I am irritating her, y'all. Mm-hmm. So y'all, I have my um my smoothie here. And I just wanted to share with y'all. Oh Lord. I don't know what that is falling over, but whatever. Um uh, is it gonna stop okay but y'all i just wanted to share my uh smoothie with y'all so look at my shirt you guys be a nice human and that is what i am i'm a nice human let me drink my smoothie so bottoms up Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. This has been Daz signing off. Bye, guys. Peace and love. 5,872 steps. How many steps you got, sir? Wait a minute. Wait a doggone minute. 5,872. Oh, I got 4,631. What? How many steps you got? Five. So, so, so she already beat you, sir. You've been beat, sir. Sir, you have been beat. She got way more steps in than you. Thank you, sir. Show me the dough. What? I am so. Look at here. My mother is a mess. Jesus. Look here, lady. Can I get? I am sweet. You I'm sweet. sweet. <laughs>